morning all of you today as we are going to discuss about algae the most simplest kind of plant as we are discussing the chapter 3 of class 11 plant kingdom in which the first division is thelophyta in thelophyta the algae are the examples if we are talking about algae algae are the simplest kind of plant in which no part is well differentiated means there is no leaf no stem no root these are the most simplest plant algae have a structure known as thallus a simplest thalloids and they are of different colors because of different kinds of pigment present on on the basis of their pigments they are classified into three categories green algae brown algae and red algae and they are quite different because of their morphological structure as well as chemical constituents so if we'll talk in this lecture we'll talk about a general characteristics of algae or thallophytas so thallophytas are aquatic plants they are found in fresh water as well as marine water most common characteristics of thallophyta is they are having a thallus that can grow in any of the habitat they might be growing in aquatic condition or in the moist soil moist stone or wood and some of the algae are associated with fungi and the best example is lichen the symbiotic association between algae and fungus and in many cases like an example they associates with animal like bear sloth bear they can survive there because they get all the required nutrients so algae can reproduce by three basic ways that is by vegetative propagation asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction vegetatively they reproduce just by fragmentation fragmentation is what a small part gets separated from the main plant body and later they could form a complete individual or a complete plant structure that is known as fragmentation but asexual mode of reproduction is very common and asexual reproduction takes place through zoospores zoospores means they are flagellated or motile asexual reproducing spores and when they germinate they give rise to a new one so zoospores are what zoospores are asexually produce reproducing spores that they are flagellated and besides that algae also reproduce sexually and sexual reproduction may be of three types one is isogamous kind another one is an isogamous and an isogamous or we can say as oogamous type isogamous means when both the gamete male and female gametes are identical in shape and size we cannot distinguish between them whether it is a male or female by just identifying in morphological so there are certain examples of algae that produce isogamous spores example clymodomonas clymodomonas is an example which produce a gamete with flagella and both male and female gametes are identical if we are saying that both male and female gametes are identical that means they are of isogamous type iso means same and gamete that means we cannot distinguish which one is male gamete and which one is female gamete 
just by looking at its morphology and another example is spirogyra spirogyra produced non flagellated but same of same size climatomonas produce flagellated with same size but spirogyra produce non flagellated and but the gametes are identical this is one of the most common question that might be asking through any of the entrance exam ki write an example that shows a gamete with flagella and both the gametes are same kind example will be climatomonas and if they are non flagellated but of same kind they are spirogyra so if both male and female gametes are identical they are isogamous type but the another kind is an isogamous an isogamous means that gametes are of dissimilar size means we can easily distinguish morphologically that this one is a male gamete or this one is a female gamete because they are morphologically distinct so that's why it is known as an isogamous type of gametes or sexual reproduction climatomonas produce both one flagellated as well as similar kind of spores as well as some of the species of climatomonas produce dissimilar kinds of spores and one of the category of an isogamous is oogamous oogamous represents that female gamete is larger than the male gamete male gametes are quite smaller as we can see in human you have studied in earlier class that the female gamete that human produce ova is of larger size then in comparison with male gamete and male gamete is smaller so such type of sexual reproduction is named as oogamous type i hope this is clear what is isogamous type when both the gametes are of same size we cannot distinguish morphologically another kind is an isogamous they are dissimilar in size we can easily distinguish whereas oogamous is that in which female gamete is quite larger than the male gamete and there are certain economic importance of algae algae as we all know they are the chief fixation of carbon dioxide through photosynthesis most of the carbon dioxide fixation was done by these algae so we can say that they are the chief producer of oxygen because what happen as carbon dioxide is fixed and oxygen is produced and this oxygen get dissolved in water and increases the what dissolved oxygen concentration in sea water so in oceans most of the carbon dioxide is fixed by these algae is one of the very very important point second some of the algae they are the good source of food example porphyria laminaria and sargassums these are some of the species that are rich in nutrients and are consumed as food other example is some algae have a high water holding capacity water holding capacity means they can store water and these hydrocolloids or water holding capacity by these algae are used to transport things from one place to another so example for this is algin a brown algae and carrageen this is an example of red algae because of their colors they are distinguished into red and green algae so this is also one of the important question that was asked frequently in entrance exams that name the brown algae that has a good water holding capacity or that produce hydrocolloids 
example is algae and whereas if we are talking about red algae example is cargain or you can remember like this uh, cargain carries r r for red this is a simple way to remember so algae and carganes are the hydrocolloids that are commercially used and next very very important use of these why uh, seaweeds that is they help in production of agar or agarose agar is one of the commercially used product that is obtained from gelidium and glacilaria the gelidium and glacilaria are example of red algae or the member of rhodophyce that are used in laboratories for growing microbes or they are the artificial nutritive media that are used in microbiology for growing bacteria fungus in a cultured plate as well as these are agar or gelidium gelidium and glacilarias are used in preparations of jellies or ice creams so these are some of the economic importance of algae in next lecture we will going to study the three basic types of algae three main classes of algae chlorophyce which generally means green algae phyophyce that means brown algae and rhodophyce i hope you understand thank you